Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shadow and today we're playing more Final Fantasy 15. We're playing episode Arden today. Um, I asked you guys about it, I think in episode Prompto or something. I asked about it anyway. And a lot of people did say that, you know, they preferred Arden or they got to know Arden a lot more once they played episode Arden. And me being invested in the story, I'm going to be playing that today. I'm going to see all the details of his story. I've heard that this is quite a long one, it's like two hours, so I don't know if it's going to be a full episode, it might be split into two parts, but yeah, um, I'm excited to play it and I just, yeah. Final Fantasy XV has been a great series on the channel and I've been loving the DLC. After this, we're going to be doing the Royal Edition new endgame stuff. Um, so there's like one more episode at least, at least one more episode before this. Maybe two, considering that episode Arden could be longer, but we're going to be ending this game before Final Fantasy VII comes out. That's a promise and since I'm daily uploading with this whole thing going on in the world, I thought it'd be best for us to at least make the most out of this game um, and making the most out of this game I have platinum the game I got 100% in the main game and I'm so pleased I love this game so much it took like 70 hours it's yeah 70 hours I believe 73 hours 75 hours to be exact um, but I do have a separate save file for when we do go back to the end game it's level 57 so yeah, I'm prepared, don't you worry. But, let's get in tips. But yeah, daily uploading. I decided that this would be fun to play considering that, you know, I don't have a lot of content <laughs> for in between the things. So, we'll make the most of Final Fantasy 15. But the world is crazy, honestly. It's a very stressful time. And I'm not going to talk about it in case, you know, people need to get away from it all. So... That's just where I'm leaving it. <laughs> nice music. Very nice. Normal. Now I wonder how Arden's gonna play. I don't like... I don't know how he's gonna play. Do we get to like... Do all the shit that he done? Having turned the Empire to shambles and shrouded the world in darkness, Arden erstwhile healer of those who ally Il <laughs> now is sits atop the Lucian throne denied him by the crystal some two millennia ago so when's this if him um, if he turned the empire to shambles I'm guessing this is like either end near the start of the game sorry or yeah I'm it's probably the uh, start of the game, chapter 3 or 2. I have um, an Asda milk chocolate bar. Asda were out of Fanta and stuff and I'm kind of upset about that. They're out of a lot of stuff, it's annoying me, I'm not going to talk about it. Oh the music, sorry. I listened to this music, I was listening to this music for a long time long on Amazon ago, Music. There lived a man, blessed by the gods and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylum. And he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. I've got goosebumps. The music. The music is just so good. I've never loved the soundtrack more. Like, the soundtrack is so incredibly beautiful. We're going back in time. Oh, and my mic's having problems. <laughs> Emmy seven three four. MIA since sometime before dawn this morning. The missing officer has been identified as twenty-eight year old Mars Sapientia. 
Although Officer Sapienza allegedly reported for duty at his appointed time, fellow officers say he disappeared soon after and has not been cited since. Officer Sapienza is oh. and was last seen wearing his border patrol fatigues. Anyone with information on Officer Sapienza's whereabouts are requested to contact the Crown City Police immediately. And now a word from the Public Information Bureau. Today marks the anniversary of the founding of the Kingdom of Lucid. <laughs> The Founders Day Committee has prepared a number of attractions in honor of this auspicious occasion, including a parade around the Citadel as well as a statue. You better keep your mouth shut, eh? All are welcome <gasps> and encouraged to participate in today's festivities. This has been a message from the Public Information Bureau. What about you? Now, onto the weather. Should you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City, we expect mild oh, and sunny no. weather with nothing but blue skies. I'm on special the assignment. may experience some inclement weather, starting in the evening and continuing throughout the night. <laughs> That concludes today's news and weather. Hmm. <sighs> oh, sweet home at last. <laughs> Return of the Savior. Explore Crown City. Arden only has a thousand or two thousand HP. This is bullshit. But he looks cool. Right, do we have a pause menu? He's just red. Everyone, it's so busy. But now, oh, he, oh, Arden's so tall. She was giving me looks. <laughs> Let me walk past you. You buggers. Founders Day Festival. Out into the world when you feel so safe with you. I just accidentally skipped dialogue. Let the fireworks begin. You good? <laughs> Oh my god. You seem to be chaotic. <laughs> That's pretty cool like, intro. The tale of the fallen king, prisoner of fate. I should not have taken chocolate. <laughs> Everything is chaotic. The years M E seven three four. Spirits are high in the Crown Say as all of Insomnia prepares to celebrate Founders Day. Yet the citizens of Lucian capital are in for a rude awakening. Arden has returned to interrupt their peaceful reverie and wreck. Um, or reek, sorry. Reek, I don't know how to say that word, I'm sorry. Havoc upon his former home. First reflecting on the events that brought me here. I don't know how to say the words because, first of all, I've not left the house since, like, mm, Sunday. <laughs> Chapter 1, Darkness Awakens. 
Sorry. Arden, Arden, Arden. Arden. Didn't mean it. Oh, Arden. You can't expect me to believe that. <laughs> oh, but I do. You have my word. Is he in love? In that case. <laughs> He's long hair. You look exhausted, my love. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Hmm. The gods bless me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. I must see their will be done. Oh, so, oh no. The gods will doubtless be watching over you. Just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> it seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. Oh. And the other? <laughs> is me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. He seemed a lot, he seemed very hopeful. He seemed very hopeful. And I take it, I take it something's not gonna end well. Oh, oh no. Oh. We're going to get a whole load of backstory here and it's not going to be pretty. If I didn't seem this hopeful in this... Don't touch me. Like, he seemed quite peaceful. So, as we expect, something bad has obviously happened. Everything is fine here. Roger that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just. We're just. Oh. Hi. Oh, you're. Get it back in the cell. No matter what. We can't let that thing on this side. That thing? Wait. Stop. Cease this. Cease this. At once. Arden enters overkill when his HP falls to zero. While in this undying state, his attacks deal more damage, but his maximum HP falls to be. Oh, great. There's a lot of pressure. Wait, what? Now. 
Okay, right. This is weird. Okay. Damn, they've got assassins and everything. So, hold it. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but take that. You just got chucked. I don't know if I was doing that right, but it's odd. That bow. Oh, sidestep it so I have... Okay, right, got it. So I just press circle when I want to attack and then if I want to dodge at the same time, I move. Oh, land five successful opening. One, two... Oh, wait, one, two, three... Press triangle while an enemy is vulnerable to demon, demonify, demonify. Oh. Magitech knowledge hook called expert. I can say that word kind of. Versatile Besitha. Can't say that. Steals away to the Umbral Isle of Angel Guard and absconds with Lucius's darkest secret, Argium. Uh, he escorts the subject back to one of the Empire's Magitech research facilities for further study. Hmm. Life's going to get difficult for Arden here. Chapter 2. Illustrate the truth. I'm eating chocolate. Somnus. <laughs> <laughs> Somnus Lucius Galen. Brother. But the throne seats only one. And what happened? Is that why they like he got sent to an island? Ardenazunia, Chief Bisithia would like to see you. I don't like to see him. He's a cunt. Magitech research facility. Wait a minute. Now, Arden's obviously quite young here. No. No. No, that wouldn't be it. 
I was about to say, maybe Arden was the one that took Prompto as a young age and put him into the Crown City. Um, well, that dis I don't think this episode will discuss that. I don't think that's going to be discussed in this one. Hi. I mean, it could, but that's just a theory. Do we? What's okay? Like I'm curious. Well, will it go into a lot of the backstory here about Arden just specifically, or will it go into a lot of the other things? I don't know. My I I don't think my thing's going to be true. I'm always wrong about these things. So, like, I doubt that they started the development of the clones here. Come, have a seat. I mean, if they're going to eat, I'm going to eat. Vercel's younger self does resemble Prompto a lot. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. Ask about his motives. What is it you want from me? What about me? This chocolate's so good. You the cheap shit's so always a good shit. You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. Ah. <sighs> The man He's such a midget. May have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Follow, no. Come along. Hold up, flesh for that for tire. Uh, <laughs> Word fire, um, boost defense, boost attack. Okay. Oh, oh. Journals, do we want to read them though? Not really. <laughs> Sorry. Open up. This is the fruit of my labor. A small portion of it, that is. What is it? <laughs> I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on. Have a look. Nope, I want to activate that. What the hell is that? Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> Adagium. That is what the Lucians call the monster they imprisoned for 2,000 long years. His powers surpass those of any mortal, and his body is all but impervious to attack. It's no wonder the Founder King sealed him away on the Isle of Angels. He undoubtedly feared this monster might challenge his reign. It's 
Okay. I mean, it was certainly a unique power. Sorry, I paused it. I needed some dehydration. Dehydration, hydration. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I pored over the ancient texts and found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. Wait, activate. <laughs> Let's free the beasts. Even the demons of version to light, they typically stick to the shadows until the sun fades and the night falls. Adagium, however, is different. Unlike his demon brethren, he can still function uninhibited in broad daylight. Of course, the ultraviolet rays harm him, much like they would any other demon. Yet his cells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. Yeah. Oh. It stings. Oh, like the light of the sun. Perhaps uh, I'd best cover up. Yes, that's a good, good thing. This our camp. The God sphere looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. Feel free to have a look. No, I think I'm good. No, 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 that's a useless camp. Ugh, disgusting. We don't like that camp. Do I want to read everything? Mm, not really. <laughs> There's something you should see. Come with me. Right, I'll beat you there. <laughs> I found something most interesting on the Rock of Ravito. If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. Experiment? What experiment's that? Oh, the music! Is that... Ifrit the Infernium. You subjugated a god and brought him here? He was oh sound god. asleep just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? Sound asleep. If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truth. Typical. They shouldn't sleep on the job. Access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's oh, that's how the thing isn't happened in Crown City. I think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? How does he have no other option? He can easily escape this place. Arden! I mean, it's clearly not going to happen. My magitech research. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them. Which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm new. certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. Am I ready? Why not? YOLO. Oh, it's a trap. No. Yes. Lucians? But how? Good me, squad. I doubt you have sighted. Requesting backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so, you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. How did you know I'm awake? 
Is he hallucinating or are they playing a mind trick on him? Triangle! Combat's very weird. Like, I prefer to move while doing it, but you can't really move very well. You have to think about it, but I suppose that makes it a little, a little more deep. A little more deep by, yeah, don't move while doing anything. <laughs> but that's cool. Oh, my thing's filling up. Is that not five yet? There we go. Oh, come back. You were not there. Fritz pissed. <laughs> On the guards. I was meant to do it on the guards. Oh, triangle. Oh, Infernian, grant me the power to take Somnus, his people, and his cursed kingdom, and burn them all to the ground. No. What? Mm. Yeah, an Easter egg not up. <sighs> Uh, right, whatever, but not, whatever. Shit. Shit's going to be difficult. Look at his face. He looks so petrified. Or, like, upset, sorry. He looks so upset. Oh, 
You're not even cut, you're fine. Forgive me. I defy the will of the gods and reveal to Somnus you had been chosen to be king. I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. Somnus fooled everyone so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. <sighs> Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Error! Oh, 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 no! Error! Please! In the names of the gods above, fulfill your calling, Adam, and punish me for my sins! That's right. Kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. I... I can't. My calling is to save. <laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Wait. I was not ready for this quick time event. I'm fighting with some... Oh, I was meant to lose. Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. He does a lot of groaning in this episode. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread. So that's why he went against everyone because he had to kill his partner or his the person that he loved. Fruit long, precipitating the production of a he didn't want to do any of that. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, our 
Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. Like he and was. Now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. He has been out for blood. Like, his family really screwed, like, everyone in his family, or that, the guy, he screwed him over big time. Like, he messed him up so much. And basically made him become this psychopath that was just constantly out for revenge. Betrayed by his brother and bereft of his beloved, oh, voice crack. Arden is burdened with the blessing of his of eternal life. His feelings of enmity towards the line of Lucius grow greater with each passing day as darkness continues to consume his body and soul. Yeah, it's like he got betrayed and he had, he lost his loved one, and now he's just full of hatred and just wants everyone to die and wants everything to die, and it's just. Quite brutal. It's quite brutal for him. Chapter 3, A Fiery Vengeance. Ooh. Is this going to be back in the whole crime city? Sorry. Is this thing on? Greetings, people of the Kingdom of Lucis. Do forgive me for interrupting the festivities. But I must tell you, this day of rapturous reverie shall be your last. Call it divine retribution. False kings and fraudulent nations are fated to perish. Who is he? We've yet to idea. Clear he wishes us harm. You stay here. I am going to put a stop to this madman. Damn. Regis is looking quite young. <laughs> so I don't know if... I don't know if... Um, the others would be born yet. Like, um, Noctis and that. 
I'd imagine Noctis would be born, I'd hope. I think. I'm not sure. I've got my partner in crime, Ifrit. I'm fighting everyone here. Oh. Crown's guard ID. So isn't that like that and I want to see how this works. Hmm. Monster. Wait, where's effort when? L1 techniques. Well, temporary. Alright, okay. Okay, let me. Oh, Freet, sorry. Freet. Oh, Chaos is just hitting this land. I don't think anyone was prepared. Okay, so, oh, triple. Wait, AP. Why am I getting AP? Well, this is advanced. Um, Oopsies. Seems to be some kind of disturbance. What's going on? Why, whatever do you mean? <sighs> now I need you to locate and destroy the devices amplifying the wall. As you wish, just sit back and enjoy the show. <sighs> now, where in the world might those dastardly devices be? Oh, great. Sable, I've got to do all of them. Sectors complete. Ugh, I've got to complete all of them. I'll just head straight towards there, but we will go straight forward. Oh. Okay. I mean, what what in the prototype is this? Did anyone like play prototype before? I hope you did, because that game, it's just it's what's happening over here. Collecting items, sell them. Okay. I need to do that. Right, stop jumping, Arden. Arden, just destroy it. That's all I want you to do. He's doing all this fancy jumping shit, and I'm like, no. Do I want you to do that? No. Okay, the music's pretty cool. Oh, great. Oh, wait a minute. I should have paid attention to that. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Shadow step. No. 
Are you having fun yet? Damn, I got hit. Ifrit. Or I, I've already forgotten to say the name. Because I just suck at saying the name. I said to shadow, like, stop behind him, but no. I'm doing it my way. Because it seems to be working out very well for me, so. Go me, am I right? Can I use this? Well, I'm surprised I could actually do that. Is he not staying for the show? Oh, he is. Yeah, that was useless, wasn't it? That shield was gone within seconds. You sure did make a mistake, didn't you? Oh, he's... Looking insane, isn't he? Guardian disabled. Because we're just good at the game. Sector A. So we have to do all of them. Oh. Oh. But do I want all the treasures? There's a hat shot. Oh. It doesn't seem to have had any effect just yet. Keep going for now. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're at the second barrier. Let's do this. Stop it. See, you guys are just getting destroyed by. I'm getting destroyed too, actually. Never mind. What happened there? Oh, nothing much. So I upgraded Ifrit and I made it so that. Uh, he's got all the attacks. So I've done all that. My jaw shot battery is low. I mean, I was fishing yesterday, so that's probably why. Okay, stop overreacting, gosh. Everybody likes a drama queen. <laughs> he's so powerful. Oh yeah, and I've got this jump. So I jump again and then that's that. You guys really think you're gonna handle me? Oh wait, what? Oh right, never mind. Um, meteor strike. Not to brag or anything, guys. But most of us have died. See, look at how powerful I am. Nobody should have messed with me. Rookie mistake. Like, get destroyed, mate. Can I do anything with one? No, it has to be two. I should focus on that Royal Guard. Well, no, actually. Let's get that Protect. No, actually. Let's get the Royal Guard. Take that. Oh! Uh, Flame to Rage. I've not seen that one. Let's see what that does. Oh, I could have pressed. I just wasted the Flame to Rage. Sector G has been overtaken. And there's still a few hostiles. 
Okay, we've still got a long way to go. Okay, we have done the third one. Sorry, it's just going in between these, so I'm just editing it out. Try and save as much time. Because I am aware that this will probably be a long episode. So, but be cautious, you know. We're just destroying this guy, like, he must be having a bad day if he can barely hit me. We've got a combo of 60. This is going to hurt. 90. Oh my gosh, the amount of damage we're doing to him. Oh no, I don't like this. I mean, best off getting her while she's here. Oh my god. Guys, this combo. Wait, what the hell happened? I just met press triangle. No, my combo. I had a four and oh, I had such a good combo going there, and I lost it. You're a cow for making me lose my damn thing. There, okay. I kept R1 in it, but I suppose that's not it. Take that. I only got 10. Or was that... I only got 10. I hope that wasn't overall, because that was a lot more effort. <laughs> oh, there's so much here. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next sector. A+. Plus. 449 combo. No buts, no nuts, no coconuts. Boys in black busy for me. Now, off to see his majesty who lives in the house that Somnus built. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I was destroying stuff and the game put me into a situation which is at the Citadel. So, just know I've gotten all the trophies so far. <laughs> It seemed doable, so that's why I kind of done it. But the one thing that's not going to be doable is the scoring thing. Like, get the best ranking. I don't think I'll be able to do that. That seems quite impossible for someone like me, anyway. So, but I've gotten everything. And I just lost my combo because I got hit once. Shamball it. I think I got my combo back, it's fine. Okay. Hello. Nice to meet ya. Finally. He wouldn't pop up. I had to fight three of those weird um, fat guys by myself. Because the guy didn't show up and didn't want to show up and I had to suffer. Shambolic. And it was at the last two ones as well. I'm like, great. Like, the one time I need help is now and you're not popping up. And I found out I can do Rising Phantom and I don't know if that's new or not, but it's pretty cool.
Oh, oh. Destruction. Oh, wait. I lost my combo. Could Oh, wait. I didn't. I'm fine. There's a lot of people defending this guy. He's not obviously not going to die. Because it's, it's Regis. It's Noctis' dad. Of course he's not going to die. But I want to see how they fight. Because it's pretty interesting. To know that we might be fighting them. Just got hit. You made me lose my combo. See you, you're all gonna die. Stop healing yourself. I don't appreciate that. Bitch. Oh. Oh, thunder. Just do that and then do that. Yeah, I've got like one million points, but we're not gonna get the best rank in this. Uh, please, work this time. He, he popped up now. That's good. Oh, yeah, also, look, we're getting all these AP points. That doesn't matter when I have everything. I have absolutely everything. That does not matter. It does not matter. Now, I know I probably could have saved that, but no. We ain't doing that. Where are you? Oh, well, I made it in time, it's fine. Oh wait, I was hiding the point. I said, yeah, one million. <laughs> Got one million points. You'll see them at the end, because I'm sure there's gonna be like danger weights. I do not care. What type of danger weights? I'm a dangerous person. Uh, is that why we're fighting the king? You do not my other. Yeah, I'm on my second can of cider still, so Well no, I finished it. Something wrong, officer. Oh, you must be his majesty. Why are you here? He looks so young. The royal arms. Who are you? You ought to know, being a man of royal blood yourself. <sighs> Adagium. In the Adagium, that's how you say it. To bring the bloodline of Lucis to an end. <laughs> Here goes. What level is he? On my honor as king, I will fight with you. Oh, having trouble all the thing to say to your own flesh. Raise yourself. Did Seriously? I mean, I'm getting a good combo at least, or a hit. He's vulnerable. Just keep whacking him about, silly. Because I need the good combo. Rising Phantom, let's go. Did I lose my combo? Because I wanted to press... Oh my, I'm livid. I'm livid. I'm not happy that I had to lose my combo over that. Like, seriously? No, I got hit. I'll get my combo back, it's fine. No, never mind. I just summoned Ifrit, are you serious? Ifrit. See, now they're all moving. Look what we've done. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I had to get my things back so I can get more hits because we need good scores. If I want to at least attempt to 100% the DLT. 
<laughs> Wait. The audacity. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Oh. Surprised I didn't lose my combo. Figure, yeah. Please work. Yeah, just use elixir. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> we don't, it's like, oh, level question mark, question mark. He's weak. You've still got much to learn, big guy. And I'm still getting hits though. Why are you in the air? <laughs> I wasn't even giving him the chance. Oh wait, I, I was about to press L1 and R2. I'm not losing my combo now. Don't you dare make me lose my combo. The audacity if you make me do that. Look at this intense combat system. D. I did not do all that shit for a D. Wait. He's dead. Is he dead? Oh dear. Perhaps I don't know my own strength. Somnus Lucis Kalem. Fifty-eight. Oh my gosh, the frame rate. The frame rate. All right, I'm fine. Three hundred. The things boosting up really quickly, which is pretty nice. Did what? Oh, I lost my combo because of that. See you. You're gonna die. Did I lose all my stuff? Thank you, Ifrit. I need that little helping hand. Because this boy's going everywhere. And he hit me. I just wanted to warp strike so I can get up there. Let me get up there. The audacity. See, right, let's stay up here so that we can at least hit him. Oh, the music. So good. I lost my combo! I oh, I lost my 7 hit combo, guys. I'm upset. We're getting there. I don't know what was meant to do there. Right. No, we'll wait for this to right. 
Do I just keep attacking the feet? I suppose. Even though it won't lock onto the damn feet. Am I upset? Maybe. Do I deserve to be upset? Yeah, I have that right. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I didn't lose my combo at least. I lost my combo. No, I was meant to do Meteor Strike. That's the cooler one. Until you stole it from me. You ripped it from my arms. Is that another person or is that the same one? What you gonna do? Okay, Ludwig, don't you dare hit that sword down. Okay, Ludwig. Ludwig in his one hit kill, damn it. If you don't know what I'm on about, is that it's Bloodborne. Oh wait, I need to heal. Meteor strike, let's go. Lies, fairy tales, and All of it. Did that even hit him? Or did he teleport as soon as that hit? Cheat and bam. Either way. Can I go? Did we do it? Hellfire. There goes his brother. I mean, it's not like, it's not like his brother betrayed him anyway, you know, it's kind of revenge. Are we happy for him? Are we happy for Arden? I don't know. What I Weird. did to you was unforgivable, but I did it for the future of our kingdom, of our people. A small sacrifice for the good of society. How noble. Our line has done everything in our power to protect our people. Just as the gods bade. I was merely fulfilling my calling. <laughs> and here I thought I was the blessed one. But it was you all along. I dare not ask your forgiveness. But I do ask your understanding. What? You took everything from me. Everything. And you ask my understanding? I pray your soul find repose, brother. I mean, I suppose it's quite sad because Arden didn't ask for that. Like, he has to live his life like this. 
you know, Why? indestructible. Why do the gods deny me my revenge? Because thou hast been chosen to serve a desert purpose. To spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? A true king will be born unto Lucis. He shall lead the people as their beacon of hope and drive away the darkness. In turn, thou shalt be the sacrifice, the limitless shadow that ushers in the light. Why must I continue to suffer? Have I not already sacrificed enough? The true king awakens, summoning the power of his forebears. He shall, at last, relieve thee of thy suffering. Then, the line of Lucis shall come to an end, and the revenge thou seekest shall finally be found. So it is ordained, and so shall it be. You say I am not the savior of man. So but even Bahumet, or Bahumet or whatever, he was behind on. Like, he knew. Oh great. Wait. Wait a minute. There better not be two damn endings. Okay, there's not two endings, there's just different dialogues between the two. Um and I don't know which one to pick. I don't have a clue what choice to pick. It seems seems like quite a difficult choice. Because I don't know which one's going to have the better dialogue. So, let's... Hmm. I think, since it's, we're in Arden shoes, I think he'd resist, considering he didn't ask for this. Like, he didn't ask to be chucked into this. He thought that he was going to be the chosen one, the chosen king, but the gods betrayed him. The gods just wanted a little game to play um, and for his, him to be ending the Lucius bloodline either way, like the, the gods wanted him to do that in the first place. He didn't ask for it, so I don't think he'd be like, all right, yeah, sure, why not, you know? I think personally Arden would probably end up resisting at first, but yeah, um, I needed to see if there was two endings. There's not two endings, so yeah, but um, I think he'd resist. I think he'd resist. This is the first time I'm going to disagree with a video game character, and that video game character is Behemoth, a god. And I do not intend to kneel before you now. My impudence shall prove thine undoing, foolish mortal. <laughs> oh, I'm no mortal. I'm a monster. The path men tread was never meant for me. Mine is paved with blood and like, darkness. I went to, I went like this makes me understand why Arden. wanted to see the world burn like
but you will never kill my resolve. The gods who rule above and the men who reign below shall lend their strength to the king of kings. Only a fool would defy such opposition. Though mankind may not realize, everything in this world is preordained. Man exists solely by the grace of the gods and cannot live without. Resist if thou must, but know thy struggles are in vain. Okay, they're better. I better have not read this wrong. <laughs> This is like the credits. Am I alive? Oh, does it matter? Perhaps not. These bright lights. <laughs> All that matters is I have my revenge. I will spread this scourge across the earth, lure out this king of light. And kill him. Then the entire world of Eos will be drenched in the darkness of despair for time eternal. And that was episode Arden, I believe. And then we have the summary of everything. It's like, oh yeah. You know, it certainly makes me more sympathetic towards him. You know, he's quite a good villain. You know, you're meant to hate him originally, but this does show a more sympathetic side. Like, yeah, you know, he wasn't wanting this. He basically just wanted to, like, he didn't want to be there anymore. He didn't want to fulfill their wishes. He didn't want to be dragged along because he was stuck there eternal. Like, he was stuck there until Noctis had to kill him. He didn't want to be part of it. Like, he wanted his revenge or to be put out of his misery. He didn't really ask for this type of life of being here for however long, unable to die. Like, he didn't want that. The gods wanted him to do that, but he didn't want to do that. He thought he was meant to be the king, but the gods screwed him over. The gods didn't want him to do that. The gods had a plan for him already, and they didn't let him know of it. 
so he just yeah like he definitely didn't want to do a lot of it or didn't want to do it but he had to he had to basically so yeah I'm definitely more sympathetic towards him I'm definitely more sympathetic towards him but I'm still devastated about the ending okay I've not forgotten about the ending and I've not forgotten about his main goal and how <sighs> it's just devastating like he had to do this so that he could finally get peace and that he could finally rest he had to I don't know the gods are weird like poor Noctis and poor Arden like you feel sorry for both of them because they were chucked into this. You know, Arden had to be the person to get killed by Noctis, and Noctis had to be the person to sacrifice his life to kill Arden. It's kind of... It's kind of weird. It's kind of sad, in a way. And it's quite upsetting, actually. It's quite upsetting because they didn't want that in their life. They didn't want to do that. But... They were forced into it. Please don't draw the ending. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> love and thanks to all the Final Fantasy XV players. No, <laughs> love and thanks to you developers. Episode Arden. And that was that. I don't think I got the top rank. I don't think I got it. So I'll be devastated if I find out that's true. Don't show me, please. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. To be continued in chapter 14. And that's where we'll be heading, actually. So luckily that thing kind of ties in. Because we're heading there. Like, we're going to do chapter 14 again. Like... I was so close. I was so close. Was it the damage? Was the was the damage? I took too much damage. I could have gotten that if I didn't get a D. I probably would have gotten that if I didn't get a D. I'm not doing it again. Okay, kiss my ass. I'm not doing it again. Amazing. See, like, I got all of them, except that one. Kiss my ass, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Took us three hours, because I kept having to take a break. Yeah. No, I don't want to share off. Oh, right, whatever. <laughs> New information, added the blade, added Arden's ensemble for Noctis. Okay. Wait. After centuries of suffering, Arden. Oh. Well, that's quite different from the first. And that was episode Arden. But that was episode Arden for Final Fantasy XV. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe. What did you think of the episode DLC? Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you feel the same way as me? Having, feeling more sympathy for Arden now instead of, you know, liking him as a villain but still hating him for everything that he done? Um, I understand what he done, but I still hate him for everything that he did do. Like, I can understand why he would do that considering, yeah, he didn't want any of it. But... I enjoyed this episode. It was quite a nice episode. Um, this is not the final episode of Final Fantasy XV though. We will be going back into the game, into chapter 14. We're going to be doing the ending again to see what's changed since it's the Royal Edition. And I didn't play the Royal Edition at launch or I didn't have the Royal Edition at the time of recording. So now we do. We're going to, we're going to go through the ending again and I'm hoping not to get 
as upset as I did, but you never know, I'll probably end up bawling because I spent like an additional 30 hours trying to complete the game. <laughs> like, um, I just, yeah, um, it's, um, I might be a mess, I might not, but be prepared for what's going to happen in the next episode. I hope you guys will join me for that and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. But for now, I will see you all later.